Hi everyone, my name is Margarita Muratova. I'm a personal stylist from Kyiv, Ukraine, originally, but currently residing in Lisbon, Portugal. And in this video, we're gonna talk about specifically steeples for fall, but this transitional period from summer to fall, which could be very tricky because you still wanna wear your favorite clothes. It's still pretty warm outside, yet sometimes it's chilly at night. And also you definitely have this urge to transition into this fall layered period. And this is the way to do it, right? In my opinion. So what I'm gonna show you today, and this is going to be, by the way, a two part video, I think, because there's just two much stuff to explain so what i'm going to show you today is basically kind of like a mix of a capsule kind of uh, staples for fall transitioning for fall so all the things i think would work amazingly for everyone's wardrobe and it doesn't matter what your style is because i'm going to explain some of the things and they don't have to be specifically looking like this it's just an example and basically this is something i would definitely wear and work with as a capsule as a staple wardrobe for my transitional period from summer to fall which is actually one of my favorite periods because it's not so hot outside it's not so crazy you can definitely start layering especially at night but you don't have to be wearing like multiple layers you still can look stylish because in summer it's kind of trickier because you cannot have that many layers on you therefore i've broken it down into different categories and i have specific examples for you and i'll also try and show you some other examples over here on the screen somewhere of ways you can kind of envision these things differently so for example I'm going to show you a dress and then I'm going to show you some examples of how this dress or this type of a dress can look a bit differently for different people So let's start with tops and then we'll move on to the, this part, which is also very interesting. Regarding the tops, what I think would work amazingly for a transitional capsule is a blouse, a satin blouse in that matter, because I think it's very flowy, it's very feminine in and of itself, but also it's kind of structured in a way that you could wear it with everything yet it's still flowy so it has everything in and of itself and this blouse specifically is actually just by H&M they have this in their basic work collection it's pretty cheap and it looks amazing it's pretty thick satin it's actually much better quality satin than in Zara at the moment but in Zara at the moment they have some pretty good satin blouses as well especially I love the red one and I'll show you this one on the screen at the moment just always pay attention to the quality of satin or silk you're working with because specifically silk actually so not viscose, not even polyester, but silk could be very tricky. It could stick to your body. It could look cheap, even though it could be very pricey because of the type of the material. So just make sure that the silk that you're using is a quality, very weighty, thick silk that holds its shape. So doesn't matter if it's satin or silk, whatever it is, because of the nature of this material and also the quality of this texture, what you see is it reflects light therefore it brightens up your look and it works amazingly with some of the dull matte things and textures in your wardrobe so my example is actually having two basic blouses so one would be cream I wouldn't go for a an off-white per se or like a white white like toilet seat white because sometimes it could wash you out a lot and also it could also kind of make your like veins on your face or your redness on your face look even more prominent than it is especially if you're wearing no makeup so I would definitely go for something more muted and also for the black one and these would would work amazingly with jeans with trousers with skirts with leggings with everything and also these are relaxed enough not to be too complicated for styling every day so like even with shorts especially if it's like too hot at the moment and you want to start wearing 
these kinds of blouses, just pair them with jean shorts. And jean shorts are going to be looking much more elevated because of this, because you have something that's essentially very classic and feminine up top and something very casual in the bottom. And also you will pair this with like heels or like ballet flats or whatever it is. So these would work amazingly because they're thick enough for this transitional period, but they're not too thick as in when you're wearing them, you're completely hot and overwhelmed and it's just too thick for this transitional period. So these would work amazingly. These are very stylish, pretty basic. And when I'm talking about a capsule like this, you can definitely see some color and texture already and I'll show them to you later in this video and the next video as well. What I'm, I wanna stress out specifically, what I wanna mark in here is that actually I don't think a capsule wardrobe is supposed to be very basic. So it definitely has some basics in there, but it doesn't have to be basic all over basic per se, because it's going to be for most people kind of boring and not inspiring. So what I would suggest going for is something basic and something more interesting. This is going to help you be inspired to style something. This is going to create more looks and clothing, and this is going to work for different periods of time. So for when you're feeling pretty basic and simple, you want to blend in with everything and then you wear all the basic stuff. But when you want to feel bright and colorful and you want to be attracting attention, you will have some pieces in there to make sure you reach that goal. So a blouse is going to go so many ways with your wardrobe, actually. For someone pretty sporty, this could work with sweatpants. For someone pretty classy, this could work with trousers. For someone pretty casual that is aiming for this, like, mid-casual or is aiming to kind of classify their casual style, this is the way to go because pair this with a jean and you get this classy, casual, but very easygoing look. The next thing I would definitely go for, and just keep in mind that we're talking about the transitional period, so it's not like fall, full-on fall, which is like windy, leaves falling, etc., etc., coats, multiple layers. We're talking about a period of, I would say, and I will be talking in Celsius, because I absolutely don't get the Fahrenheit thing. So I would go for like 80, 18, 15, 20 kind of rage in the Celsius. That's what I'm aiming for in this transition period. And this is actually what usually ends up happening temperature wise when you're transitioning from August to September and also throughout the whole September. So the next thing I would definitely go for is a polo top, like a short sleeved polo top and make it colorful or like make a blouse colorful and then a polo top pretty basic. So switch it up, whatever you wanna do. I'll show some examples of a basic polo top. So go for what you feel like, would your style the most, I would definitely go for something colorful to inspire me all those days when I need this extra kick. And this top, obviously, because of the color, because of the texture, and this is actually by Miu Miu, an amazing, beautiful cherry cloth top, this would work amazingly with something very basic like a jean, a pant, whatever it is, a sweat, sweat pants, a trouser. But this would also go for with something crazy as well, like a crazy colored skirt, a printed something, something, whatever it is. So this would work both ways. This would not be too hot, but also because this is a terry cloth material, which is a thicker material, or at least it's on the thicker side, as opposed to, for example, silk, this would keep you much more warm during the day for those specific transitional temperatures. And also just always make sure that within a capsule you make effort to bring in some texture, some color, some form, some shape, etc, etc. So switch it up in terms of styling to make it look not so same same. And I've said that before when I've, we've been talking about a summer capsule or a holiday capsule because what's really cool about a capsule concept is that it's not basics it's a mix of these two that creates this fulfilled feeling within your closet even if it's like you know 15 items you still get this rush of energy because you have some things that are more basic and some things that are more elevated and this thing is definitely absolutely more elevated so this one would work definitely within a capsule this would pair perfectly with a 
classic trouser. This would work for an office-like environment, not necessarily a strict office dress code, but something eased up. And also polo tops are something most people keep forgetting about. And I think they're very, very undervalued because they're structured. They're more interesting than a usual t-shirt. And also the usual t-shirt, you can keep that for sure. What I'm showing over here is something that's more unexpected than the usual thing or the thing that you already have in your wardrobe. So don't think that if I'm not mentioning a t-shirt, you don't have to have one in your transitional capsule. It's just something, you know, to think about. Something more interesting, something more elevated, something more beautiful, bright, etc., etc., and inspiring. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is actually, again, two basic things, and these are long sleeves. A godsend for the transitional period specifically because during the day especially if we're talking about for example like 18 plus positive 18 positive 20 it's not so hot during the day it also could be windy whatever you are and this could make you feel chilly if you're wearing a tee as opposed to a lawn sleeve which basically essentially is a t-shirt with a longer sleeve. So this is an amazing example of how you can transition your wardrobe, especially your basic pieces, from summer to fall and also to winter and then layer with them. These work amazingly. People often forget about these and keep going for t-shirts, but when you're going for a t-shirt, you end up with a short sleeve and then you keep having to add up layers because you're getting cold. And in this instance, what you're getting is a longer sleeve the, so this definitely especially during the day so the daylight when it's kind of warmer outside you could still work with this as your only layer and you would be good and I would go actually with something pretty basic not textured necessarily just to add up to the variosity of this closet and I love basics from cost especially long sleeves from cost they're amazing their price is beautiful as opposed to, for example, the row prices for their long sleeves, which ranges from like 700 to 800 euros or dollars, which is absolutely insane if you're thinking like that a cotton long sleeve could definitely cause that. And don't get me wrong, I love the row. I love some of their statement pieces. I love investing in their shoes and accessories. But when it comes to basics, I definitely think you can go for the middle market. You can get an amazing quality and price and quality to price range in there. So long sleeves are especially, I think, are the best ones in cost. So these two, I'd go for some something milky white or off-white, whatever you want, and also something black. And this would work amazingly with any kind of pant, with a jean, with a skirt, and these would also casual up an outfit. So basically, you would not have to look so office-like because when you wear a shirt or a satin blouse, you definitely add this classy look to your outfit. But when you add something so casual, you actually dress the look down. So sometimes you definitely need that, especially if we're talking about like a classy trouser. It could look classy on itself. It doesn't have to be paired with something classy as well because it's going to look too matchy-matchy and it's just too one-dimensional. So pair your lawn sleeve with a classy trouser and you end up with a very leveled up, beautiful, balanced look. The next thing is definitely, I wouldn't piss up on a classy, beautiful, oversized. I'd go for something like a classic blue color, men's style shirt. Definitely oversized to give this volume because most of our tops over here are kind of straight. And I would like to mix up some of the forms in a look to make your outfit formulas more interesting and diverse. So what I would go for definitely is this beautiful, this is actually second hand. This was purchased here in Portugal for like three to five euros, I think. It's absolutely beautiful. It's 100% cotton. It's 
absolutely perfect for our purposes, which is styling them with anything and everything that we have within the bottoms range. And a classy men's style shirt, and when I'm talking men's style shirt, what I mean actually is cotton poplin, and the size is bigger and the volume is bigger because when usually you go to a women's department or a women's section in like a Zara or whatever, whatever it is, you actually end up with a very like straight or even like body hugging tight fitting shirt shirts and very short ones for that matter but when you go to the men's section what you see is so this is the level it starts this is my shoulder level and this is the way it ends so the end of this shirt is actually below my butt which works amazingly in tucking it in and also tucking it out and making this half French tuck and styling it essentially in a very French nonchalant way and also creating this beautiful volume up top which is absolutely impossible if you're working with women's section shirts. So just to mix it up, just to bring some color to this color scheme and also just to make a basic less basic and you can definitely do that and we will have a separate video about how to make a basic not so basic and still have a basic wardrobe if you know what i mean i hope you know what i mean so i would just go for a different basic ish color and that would be a classic blue for me because it's basic enough to work with everything it's muted enough it's like neutral enough to work with everything yet it still still brings some color to your look it would work with pants with leather pants with jeans with skirts with everything with any kind of length and that would still bring some form to your look the next thing we'd go for is jumpers and I would go for something more like colorful and something more basic, just at least two for your capsule, especially if, for example, we're packing for a trip, let's say to Europe for this transitional period for a month. This would actually work for a month. Actually, there's a lot of looks within this capsule and it doesn't look like this, but actually it is so. So what I would go for is actually two jumpers and one of them would be more muted, like on the basic-ish side. So something black and white, something monochromatic something neutral but still textured in a way and a jumper that screams color texture and character and personality for you to add this up to something pretty basic like a jean and a long sleeve and tie it up up top or wear it with a classic pant and still look very bright and uh, to show your personality and on those days when you don't need to show your personality that much which happens to me as well you will have this basic-ish top but still it doesn't have to be boring basic it could be a jumper that has texture obviously this has a pattern this has a bit of a print this has a clash even if that's a clash of black and white colors still has a clash of colors it has a form a shape so when you're going for a jumper also one important note to see here is that you need to go for a jumper or a sweater but here it's a jumper that's thick enough so that you could layer this with something underneath so for example if you're willing to layer this shirt under any of these jumpers this would look beautiful because it's thick enough, the jumper is thick enough to hold its shape even if there's something underneath it, which doesn't usually necessarily happen when you pick out some very thin jumpers. And when you usually, what you usually end up with is something very like buckled up, not really cute, something very messy because the texture and also the material of the jumper is pretty thin. So it looks like you've worn like basically like a blouse over a blouse as opposed to a jumper over a blouse if you know what I mean so make sure that the jumpers thickness is thick enough to hold its shape even when you layer it with something like this but for jumpers they're pretty you know self-contained you can wear them on their own with a jean a leather pant a trouser a skirt you can layer this with something like over a blouse or a lawn sleeve actually or a shirt you can actually just tie them over your head over your neck and like bring them on your shoulders just as a layering styling piece so it's pretty versatile it keeps you warm especially during the night or evening for example you can tie this over your shoulders and 
put them over your shoulders during the day and walk like this. And at night, if you're going somewhere, just wear it over your dress, over your shirt, over your blouse. And this is the way to go. And I would definitely go just for two. It does, you don't necessarily have to have a lot of them. Uh, these are by Chanel. These are beautiful. These are colorful, textured, and always make sure they're thick enough. The next thing I would go for is actually a cardigan. I think it's pretty necessary because you can wear it over something when it's cold. It's a beautiful layering piece. It could work amazingly with a blouse, a lawn sleeve, a crop top, whatever it is. Over here I have it as a suit basically, as a two-piece uh, with this crop top and this crop top and this cardigan are by an amazing American brand Kate and I love this suit because it works amazingly for example with jeans, with trousers, with skirts, etc. And you can wear this crop top on its own it's knit it's pretty thick so it's pretty warm for this transitional weather it's perfect and a thick enough cardigan would work amazingly as an outwear for this transitional period so you don't necessarily have to wear a trench coat or a leather blazer or whatever it is because if this is a quality knit so for example if it's cashmere if it's wool etc etc if it's not just polyester this is going to keep you warm at night and also during the day if you need that and this could work amazingly because of this specific style. It's kind of romantic with a flowy sleeve, with everything within this wardrobe, within this capsule. So with a classic trouser, with a romantic skirt, with a very casual jean, with a leather pant. And the more contrasting these styles, the styles of these two items are, so for example, your top and your bottom, the better. And I would go for a neutral cardigan because you wear cardigans actually, or you end up wearing cardigans a lot during this transitional period. So in order for you not to get sick of wearing the same bright, crazy printed thing over and over again, I would definitely go for something pretty light. So I would pair this with, for example, like a uh, lawn sleeve. I would pair this for sure with a blouse. I would definitely wear it on its own as a top. So basically just button it up, wear it with absolutely nothing underneath, and then wear this with a jean beautiful contrasting textures and materials. So this could work amazingly for your capsule or staples for this transitional period. This could work amazingly well into your fall and then also winter, obviously. And this is just an amazing investment piece. And specifically, Kate is an amazing brand which makes beautiful quality pieces. They're pretty pricey, but I think they're well worth it. The next thing in this capsule or staples for this transitional period is a blazer. And I would definitely, if you have only one blazer, I would go for an oversized one. It doesn't necessarily have to be that oversized. I just love them so crazy oversized because I love the play and proportions. But what I'm aiming for is actually to create some form in a look and also give you some warmth. But also a blazer is a classic piece of clothing. It has very classic attitude in and of itself. So when you Pair this with something pretty casual like a jean or pretty dramatic like a leather pants, you create a balanced style-wise look, but also a look with a balance of proportions, a balance of textures, different textures, play in textures, etc. And for example, this could be like a blazer, a leather pants, and a lawn sleeve a beautiful combination with a loafer or a sneaker, whatever it is. And this could be a play on style because there's so many different styles in here. This is dramatic, this is classic, that one's casual. So it would be balanced, it would be beautiful, and still it would look put together. But also what's so amazing about a blazer, it gives structure to a look. Because sometimes looks, especially like very soft ones, like with t-shirts and lawn sleeves and jumpers, so with things that don't necessarily hold their shape very very well. They could look a bit sluggish as opposed to a blazer that gathers it all together, that structures a look, and you don't necessarily have to have other things very structured in a look. When you have a blazer, all the other things in a look could be very, very relaxed, and the blazer would work its magic. And this blazer actually beautifully, in this coincidence, in the specific capsule, is also a thrifted one, and this was thrifted, I think, in Ukraine for something like 
5 to 3 to 10 euros, which is pretty cheap for this beautiful men's section blazers. And one tip, one pro tip, when you go for thrifting for a woman, go for the men's section in a thrift shop, in a secondhand shop, in a vintage shop. Always go for the men's section if you're going for a quality jean, a quality outerwear piece, a blazer, and a shirt. Those things are the best in the men's section. Absolutely none comparable with the women's section. Just trust me, go for the men's section and you will find a gem like this. And this would work amazingly with everything in this capsule because it's so self-sustained. Actually, the only kind of outerwear-ish piece I would advise because we're talking about the transitional period, not necessarily something very cold like fall, I would go like with like a lightweight trench thingy, like a duster. And this one is actually by beautiful Ukrainian brand Katimo, and they have a lot of their pieces and they're very beautiful quality. They're amazing. They're very structured and very unique. And I'm pretty sure this one's still in stock if I'm not mistaken on their site. So I will try and not forget to link it down below in this video. So this would work just like a cardigan would. So imagine a look with a jean, a lawn sleeve, and then something to throw over it and together all these pieces together to make a more coherent look. Or for example, you would go for a classic trouser and then you would go for a classic shirt and then you would throw this over to make it more look more flowy and you know cohesive and beautiful and more romantic because this one's definitely more romantic and you can definitely go for a duster that's more classy and less romantic it's absolutely up to you and specifically about the duster and this like outerwear piece the only outerwear piece that there is in this capsule I would go for something more neutral because you would end up wearing it more times and you would get sick of a very colorful crazy patterned piece and what I also love about this kind of a trench coat slash duster is that it has some beautiful crinkle texture and the color is really important because it's gray and there's I think absolutely almost nothing except for the trousers gray in this capsule which works amazingly for us because even if the items in this capsule or some of them are basic you don't necessarily have to have them all black or white or black and white it could be gray it could be brown it could be light blue whatever it is to make it more interesting and versatile even if we're working with some of the basic items in here so this is for the duster it work amazingly with everything with a skirt with a pant with a trouser with a dress over a dress for example imagine this together with a heel for the night so something that is going to be like a version of a cardigan a version of an outerwear something in between not too warm but kind of a layering piece and more of a layering piece than like something for the warmth in itself and this is just a beautiful piece and i definitely do recommend having something midi length so we don't have almost like all of the pieces that I've shown you previously, so the top pieces, all of them are kind of your, basically your hip length. So all of them are ending somewhere around the hip area. And we definitely also need to play with lengths of our things to make your wardrobe more versatile. And therefore this would also work amazingly.